Moving on, wearing of masks as a measure of curbing the spread of COVID-19 has greatly hampered means of communication to the deaf society who depend heavily on lip syncing to understand and respond effectively. Now, as Robert Omer reports, the deaf community give us an optional way of to ensure communication with them remains effective even amid the pandemic. Ever since the pandemic struck the country early last year, many sectors have stagnated in their operations and the deaf community was not left behind. Not all deaf people are, are totally mute. Some people can uh, one read your lips and they have some speech. But uh, for now with Corona we have to keep our mask on and we get stuck a lot. Our eyes are very important part of our lives because we can't hear as I said. The same way you see our eyes work even as our ears. That's the most important thing for us. <laughs> In a world where communication is key, survival scheme is definitely necessary and there are do's and don'ts of how to effectively communicate with a deaf person. When you want to talk to them, the first thing is that you tap them so that they can look at you and you have a communication. And also when you're talking to them, to a deaf person, try to focus and to have eye contact as you communicate. You don't keep turning or looking ahead. Yeah. So that will not be fair. So you look at them and have eye contact as you talk. That's the best way. Um, so when you're talking to a deaf person, I know most of you, you see a deaf person, then you feel like, I don't want to talk to this person because he can't hear me. The two of us are having a communication and then someone passes through between us. For deaf people, this is rude. It means that you don't respect people when you pass in between them. To them, lighting is key. So I can even use my phone. Yes, and then we can communicate. Like just to light us. So you don't show, shine the light on their face. Emily Wambui Muraguri is a teacher and a sign language expert in Kambui High School for the Deaf. So we need to stop doing everything, you know, believing that it's like we think that they are being punished. But they're not. Empowerment starts from the basic thing. Wambui says that understanding the deaf community is a long time assignment that can only be completed by a sober and accommodative society. If we are being inclusive, let's be inclusive all the way, not just halfway. Robert Omar, Switch TV News.